I'm going to make up a new word. And the new word is gekyum. I am in the next gekyum of thinking. Gekyum. Before the late XXX Teta Sion's baby Gekyum was born in January of 2019 to mother Genesis Sanchez. Before it was revealed that XXX Tentacion would become a father posthumously. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy. Before XXX Tentacion would tragically pass away back in June of 2018, at the age of just 20 years old. Police investigating the death of rapper XXX Tentacion reportedly say he was the target of thieves. When Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfroy, widely known as XXX Tentacion, was tragically murdered on June 18, 2018, his fans thought that the widely acclaimed music that he had produced would be all that they'd have to remember him by. All of a sudden, his contributions to the hip hop and rap community, they became a precious legacy and seemingly the only way to keep the young rapper's memory alive. That was until June 21st, 2018, just three days after X's passing, that his mother Cleo posted a picture of an ultrasound on Instagram with a caption that read, he left us a final gift. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden and welcome to Before They Were Born on Baby Gekyu. Now I can imagine I might get some heat for this video, but I believe this is a story that needs to be told. I've also spoken with Jose's family members, including his sister, who have told me that they appreciate my coverage on his life, his career, and his legacy, and that I've told his story with so much detail and respect. Now we have made a similar video in the past on the birth of Assad Khaled that was titled After They Were Born, but obviously this video, well, it's more somber. All right, let's get into it. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! For those just catching up, XXX Tentacion was a 20 year old rapper who reached mass success at a young age with hits like Sad, Look At Me, and Everybody Dies in Their Nightmares. Now he was undoubtedly the fastest growing musician in the rap community, with his sophomore album Question Mark debuting at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 charts. Now this was the start of 2018, a year that despite his feats, would end up being the last year of his life. Now for more on his come up story, we've documented this in multiple videos in the past. Just browse around the channel, I'm sure there'll be something there for you. On June 18, 2018 in Deerfield Beach, Florida, while XXX Tentacion was visiting Riva's Motorsport, when at nearly 4 p.m. he was approached by two armed suspects. Jose was shot and the suspects they fled in an SUV. He was rushed to a nearby hospital, the Broward County Sheriff's Office, they made the following updates to their Twitter page. Dispatchers received a call of a shooting at 3.57 p.m. An adult male victim was transported to an area hospital. Now later the account it updated with, breaking news, the adult male that was taken to the hospital has been pronounced dead. And finally the tweet that shocked the world, the adult male victim has been confirmed as 20 year old Jose Onfroy, aka rapper XXX Tentacion. Now after it was confirmed that he had been killed, a wave of celebrities and other rappers, they fled to their social media accounts to pay respect to the young artist. An entire generation that grew up on the internet, well, they mourned simultaneously. They're lining up at the door of the bb and Center. Uh, this memorial will go on until six o'clock. And just three days later, well, it was revealed that Ja, he would become a father posthumously. But there were still questions left unanswered. Who was behind the brutal murder of XXX Tentacion? And who was the mother of the unborn child? The Broward County Sheriff's Office had started the search by putting out a $3,000 bounty for anyone who could lead them to making an arrest. And on June 20th, 2018, they made their first arrest with 22-year-old Diedrich Devonche Williams. Now, in terms of his personal life, X had a known rocky relationship with Geneva Aaliyah, a girl who made multiple highly publicized accusations against the rapper. X said that Geneva wasn't being truthful as she was unfaithful during the relationship and that Geneva, she wasn't even pregnant. And uh, in a recorded phone call with X, he could be heard saying, She was basically making me feel bad for the fact that she was pregnant to make me like stay with her dog. The whole time I was letting her stay with me, I thought she was pregnant, and then I found out she wasn't pregnant. And as for the assault allegations, well, he had this to say. She got me put in a mental asylum, so like I, I told 
look like my homegirls when they beat her ass. In October of 2016, Geneva, she set up a crowdfunding account on GoFundMe where she raised over $34,000 to cover the cost of her medical bills as a result of the physical abuse she received at the hands of X, allegedly. Now on her page, Aaliyah, she had posted a picture of the damage to her eye. She also wrote, There are two fractures in my left eye socket due to an aggressive hit, along with nose and jaw fractures. Since these bones are fractured, they're piercing into the back of my eyeball, causing damage to an optical nerve and my eye itself. At the time of X's death, well, he was awaiting trial for domestic abuse charges, which he pled not guilty to. Now, there's a reason I'm bringing this up. On June 21st, 2018, when X's mother uploaded a sonogram to her Instagram page with the caption that read, he left us a final gift. Well, it's not hard to imagine why everyone thought that Geneva Aaliyah was the expecting mother. But it was then pointed out by a fan that under this Instagram post, well, Geneva left a comment simply saying congratulations, which shut down any rumors pretty quickly. Now, the mystery of who the mother was, it continued. Even after Cleo posted a photo to Instagram on August 22nd, 2018, of the baby bump announcing the sex of the baby with the caption reading, it's a boy baby X. While the excitement of the news of the baby was a way to ease the family's pain after X's passing, advancements were still being made on the investigation of the death and there were four suspects who were captured. After Diedrich Williams came Robert Allen, a 22-year-old who was named a person of interest on June 27th. Just days after the original sonogram was uploaded, he was arrested the following month. Now the third person suspected and subsequently arrested was another 22-year-old, Michael Boatwright. And on August 7th, the fourth and final suspect was caught, a 20-year-old man named Trayvon Newsom. Now he was said to be one of the culprits who shot X along with Boatwright, and surveillance footage has since been released of the attack, but we're just not gonna show it here. Now let's get into X's baby mama. Well, Cleopatra, the rapper's mother, she revealed in December of 2018 and the mystery girlfriend, well, she was 20-year-old Genesis Sanchez. Along with the real identity, Cleo also dropped a hint at the couple's baby name. The info was revealed through a post to Instagram that captioned Gekum's mom with an image of both Genesis and the late rapper hugging her. Now, Cleo, she then uploaded another picture, this time of Genesis alone, and it captioned, Genesis Yume's mom. At this time, information also came out about the pair's secret relationship, including that they had been together for a few months and that Sanchez, well, she was considered a relevant person in the court documents surrounding X's murder case, as she allegedly had spent a lot of time with the rapper leading up to his untimely passing. Now, the news about her pregnancy, it was kept a secret to the public in order for the pregnancy to be stress-free but sources close to the couple said that X was aware that he was gonna be a father. Now in a recent Reddit AMA, John Cunningham, the executive producer for the album Question Mark and Skins, well, he answered a question about it. A fan asked, what was Jaws' reaction to finding out about the pregnancy? To which Cunningham replied, he recorded a song about it. Sanchez is currently said to be living along with X's mother, Cleopatra Bernard, in a $3.4 million mansion in Parkland. And this is a house that X picked out before his passing. Now, a photographer based in Tampa, Florida with the Instagram handle, Kpots, well, he posted a photo of Genesis' pregnancy shoot, which featured her in all white covered in blue butterflies. The caption featured a statement made by Genesis about the symbolism of the blue butterflies. It read, One of my fondest memories with Ja was the day he took me to Butterfly World. As we sat in the garden, we noticed that the blue butterflies were attracted to him. They liked his energy and his blue hair. These blue butterflies represent just say, my blue butterfly. As for the baby shower, while it was an exclusive secretive event, and there's a video circulating online of the cake, which was black, white, and gold, topped with a crown and the letter G, written in cursive on the second tier. Now a little more on the name Gekum. Now I'm sure there's not a lot of you who've actually heard that name before. That's because it was invented by X himself. Gekum means different state or next universe of thought and it was announced via his Instagram story. Now, X's mother, Cleo, she also shared via Instagram. When Ja found out initially about the baby, he had two names already picked out. He wanted a boy, he ended up having a boy, and that's the name that he chose for his son. And so I decided to honor my son and give his only child the name that he chose. The name had also made a brief appearance in the music video for Sad, which is a song dropped after the rapper's passing. At the start of the video appears subtitles that read, my name is Gekum, what is your name? How old are you? 
Why are you watching this video? Hmm, okay. In terms of the due date, it was originally thought that the baby would be born in November. A public baby registry was found online with the due date of January 28, 2019, and this included a $100 chic diaper backpack in black, a $180 formula dispenser, a $200 touchscreen baby monitor, and a $220 classic infant seat in black. Now the news of baby Gek Hume brought a lot of excitement to the world, and of course Hume's own family members, Genesis brother, fashion designer, and model Chris Sanchez, well he was seen in a video online showing his excitement of the birth of his nephew. Finally, on Saturday, January 26, 2019, the world welcomed Gekum Onfroy, a baby boy and what will be just say's only child. Now the birth, it came just seven months after his father's death and only a couple days after what would have been the late rapper's 21st birthday. Now ex's father, Dwayne Onfroy, he posted a touching video to his Instagram confirming that his grandson, well, he had been born. Grandpa, grandpa, yes I am. Grandpa, Grandpa, that's your man. <laughs> yes, I'm in. And as for the baby himself, well, his mother Cleo, she posted to her Instagram a picture of Tiny Gekum's feet with a caption that read, Littlefoot. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they were born. Uh, I think this is um, a great story to tell. Obviously, this child's gonna be talked about for many years to come, and hopefully the talents that were in X will be passed on to the boy. I'm sure they will. So let's play your respects in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.